As you're all aware, there was a mass, mass gathering of people in London, in Parliament Square. You all know why they were there and what they were doing there and how they felt. The very sad fact of reality is the mainstream media at the moment holds all of the cards because they have the finances, they have the budget, they have the equipment, they have the staff to get out there and paint the picture of what's going on any way they choose. And to that end, we have to be very careful what we say and what we do because it could be misconstrued and be made to look very, very bad indeed. We saw the Daily Mail and a couple of, a couple of the other rags try this already. And I want to single out an individual who's really scored an own goal for the cause. Should have known better and should have shut the fuck up, basically. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Monday. I hope you're doing all right. The lights are on in the car now. It's getting dark as it does at this time of year. Very dark times. Well, very dark times in the life of Piers Corbyn. I nearly said Piers Morgan then. That could have got me in trouble. Piers Corbyn, brother of Jeremy Corbyn, that nice lefty socialist type ex-Labour of the... Ex-Labour of the Leader Party, ex-Leader of the Labour Party. My tongue is getting twisted around my face. He was at that gathering in London, Piers Corbyn, and he made a very big blunder and got himself arrested. This is what he did. There's no sugarcoating it. He was arrested simply for inciting violence. He was encouraging his followers to go and burn down MPs' offices, to beat them and to do horrible, nasty things to them. The problem is with the mentality of some, they would go and try just that. And when you've had the tragic stabbing of David Amos and, you know, various other things going on with the safety of MPs, it's a very irresponsible thing to do indeed. And really, he should have known better because he should have known that the media, having got hold of this, would use it to twist the truth even further and make it out to be a pack of raving mad right-wing lunatics who were all anti the old... <coughs> well, they weren't anti the old... <coughs> They're anti having their freedoms taken away. They're anti all these restrictions being put in place for Boris. And... They're not stupid, they know, and they wanted to gather in a place and have their feelings known. And I think Piers Corbyn really should have shut up. He had every right to demonstrate the same as everybody else, but to say that in a place like that, on a day like that, was only asking for trouble. He probably won't be in prison too long. I wouldn't have thought so. It'd be a slap on the wrist and out he goes. But very, very bad move on his part. Very bad move. Let me know if you were there uh, and what you thought of the day and how it went. I wished I could have gone myself. It, it would have been marvellous to, you know, see everybody. But it's one of those which I stayed away from. Not because I didn't want to, but I had to because of other things. Anyway, let me know. It would be interesting to read your comments. And I'll be back with one more shortly. Toodaloo.